So we have yet another story about a possible drone sighting or drone collision on, a, on an airliner. And this is um, an A380 coming into land at Nice Côte d'Azur Airport. Um, I'm not the type of person who makes videos about complaining, and I never will. Uh, and I don't want to start pointing fingers, I don't want to start calling anyone idiots or anything. Uh, we do need to know the facts here. Now, I have been flying in Côte d'Azur, I've been flying in that area, I've been doing drone operations in that area many times. Uh, I've flown into Nice many times, so I have some experience about flying in that area. I have some experience about flying into that airport. I've got some things that I want to say that um, could be relevant to this story because what happened didn't surprise me and it's got nothing to do with the drones. Hi everyone, Stephen from The Flyby Guys. This is a video I do not want to make, but uh, I think that facts and experience come down to a hell of a lot, so that's why I wanted to make this video grudgingly. So let's talk about this. So an A380 was coming in from Dubai. This is a typical flight that comes in every day. It's usually in the afternoon. I think it's around two o'clock or something because I've spent some time there and I've seen that flight coming in. Um, uh, I was staying in Antibes at the time and I was watching that flight every day coming in around the same time. So um, what happened? Well, apparently uh, this flight was damaged. It was damaged quite badly by something large. As we have been told, we have seen images of the damage of this plane and some of the headlines are talking about it was a drone. And then halfway down at the end, you see that, well, nothing's been confirmed yet, which is really bad. And I do wish the press would stop doing this because it's very harmful, not only harmful to the community, but also harmful to the business that has been done. And especially trying to get permission to fly in that area, which I have done many, many times, it is not easy. It's one of the most difficult places to get permissions to fly. And when you do, you feel like you've been through the mill and back. So... Okay, so um, so what do I think that happened? Well, the last time that I flew into Nice Côte d'Azur Airport, we had to do several go-arounds, several go-arounds. I think we landed on the third or fourth because there was a bird strike on a flight that was, to, that was actually taking off beforehand and the runway had to be checked because there was debris on it. Um, could this have happened? It could have happened. I think that possibly the, the the airline could have picked something up when it landed and that caused the damage. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, was it a drone? No, I don't think it was a drone. If we look at the maps, so if we look at if, if first if we look at the DGI map, we can see that this entire area is warming. And knowing this area. Flying from Nice over to Antibes, over to Cannes. Again, I've been doing operations here before. You cannot fly a drone here un unless you have permission. There, there is radar. Radar can pick everything up. I've also seen anti-drone devices there as well, and I've seen it on the radio. So I've seen interference which has been caused by these. Uh, so anything that would be there, I think, would, would have been picked up. If we look at the French... Uh, site which shows us you can see that there that it's all red everything is red in this area it's all red this is it's not easy to fly here anyone who picks up a drone and flies will find it you know almost impossible because you get warnings and you'll not be allowed to fly that now that doesn't mean to say that someone can't do it I'm sure that maybe they could now on these beaches when, you know, when the plane was coming in, I actually have a map here of, I actually have the, um, I do have the flight itself and flight radar. And when it comes in, and this this is the flight itself. So when the flight was coming in, it, the, I mean, this is usually the flight path, although it can come in the other way as well. It comes in with Antibes on the left hand side. This is a busy area, so there's lots of people in on those beaches. So again, you would be able to see if it was a large drone, as 
as there has been reports of, that you know, you know, people would have seen your know, large drone taking off. It would have been picked up on radar. It would have been picked up on the anti-drone devices that are in that area. But there hasn't been any reports about that. So that's why I don't think that there has been a drone, uh, let's say, collision. I don't think a drone has been flying. At the same time, you've got lots of air traffic flying from Nice towards Cannes and Saint-Tropez and all the boats there. So there's helicopter traffic constantly. We had to deal with this, especially at Cannes. There are, there are helicopters coming into land every five minutes. It's a very busy air you airstrip there so um so yeah i don't think that there was any drones there because it's you know it's impossible to fly drones because there's just so much air traffic so yeah i i don't think that this was a collision at all i think that it was probably some debris on the runway it could have been something else we don't know um i wouldn't want to speculate about anything else because i i really can't think but I think that you know, the, you know, possibly debris from the runway is a good indication. Now, there's been nothing from the pilot to say that anything happened at a certain height, which is also leading me to to, to a bit of suspicion that it could have been something on the runway. But we don't know. But I wish the press would just be a bit more realistic and not be jumped to blame all the time because. Uh, you know, even though they would like to think that this was a drone, looking at you know the areas, like, you know, you know, you know, you can't fly a drone here. <laughs> you know, that doesn't mean to say that they can't. I've never seen it myself, and and certainly in those areas round, I don't think it would be possible at all. Look, what do you think? Do you think that this was a drone? I hope not. Um, it, to me, it's an own story, and you know we're getting you know our fingers pointed at and stuff, and it's it's not very nice, I have to say. But um, uh, but anyway, I hope from my perspective and my experience flying in this area, flying into that airport, uh, gives you some indication as to why I think that this was not a drone at all, be it small or as we have been saying, very large. Anyway, thank you very much, everyone. Much appreciate you watching the video. Let's keep support for the community out there. And as always, fly safe.